Hey guys, welcome to Wrenching with Cars. Pat is currently bringing in his CRV because we are going to be changing his lights. Coming in a little bit straighter, be great. And so I'm gonna stop there. A little bit. Can you get out? Always. Watch out for my tire there. Tire swing tire. So we're gonna close the garage. So uh does tell everybody you're changing the lights on your CRV. Sure are. We're gonna be using once again the good old trusted Sylvanias. Alright. So we have three of them. We have the 7443, which is your stop. Okay. We have the 7440 which is your turn signal, mm -hmm. and your 921, which is your brake. All right. Tools we're gonna need is gonna be either eight millimeter socket on an extension, mm -hmm. or a good old Phillips screwdriver. Master graph. <laughs> now these Salvania lights are available in amber and in red, not just cool white. Um, Pat prefers the cool white, and since we actually have the correct colors of the cover, it won't really matter. Another thing that's good about the cool white is that because we don't live in a brightly lit town, unfortunately, we need all the brightness you can get. Unfortunately. I kind of um, like the dollar look town. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, as you can see, I've never done this before. Never prepared. First thing you want to do is you want to pop the hatch. It's the button right below uh, the console. Do you want to see it? If so, we gotta walk all the way over there. Yeah, it's pass. It's okay, the way. so just says pass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the eight millimeter socket instead of using the Phillips, just because the Phillips. With my luck, I've never had an issue with stripping screws. Yes, you do need some force because these have never been taken apart. In which case, usually the socket's a little bit better. Yeah. It's a little bit more leverage. Yeah. So that's the Phillips way. Yeah, go right there. Now this side, we're gonna do the socket, which is, oh, that's gonna be the wrong way. So, first one, just loosening them. I'll come over after you do it. Two, and your third one's right here. You can see it, so it's gonna be yep. one, two, and three. And that's all you need, just these tools. So this right here is the driver's side. I noticed that one of my pet peeves in any town, any people with vehicles is nobody, nobody ever changes or fixes their lights. Wherever you go, whatever town you live on, you will see cars that are missing uh, tail lights, Turn signals, brake lights, uh, front lights, driving lights, high beams, and you see it everywhere. This, these three Sylvanias cost me about under 50 bucks. Uh, they're all double packs, so I'm pretty sure it costs a little bit more than 50 bucks. All right, they're $24.99 each. For the double packs, yeah. yeah. They are available in singles for $12.49. Yeah, that's your local Walmart. So we'll go to this side, we'll loosen as well. Oops. So I want also price matches, so if you ever find a better deal. Oh yeah, you can get the ones off eBay all you want, Amazon, you get them anywhere, uh, Benson, Napa, mm. Canadian Tire, <clears throat> wherever it sells LEDs. Yeah. I just choose to go with the LEDs, only reason is because it's much brighter, the color is crisper. Longer life. Longer life, and if somebody smashes into you, there's no reason for them to smash into you. Yeah. So I'm just gonna reach over here again, put these all together. That's another good thing about having a flat bumper. You can actually use it. <laughs> okay, cargo pants, a must if you're gonna do a lot of DIY. Pockets for everything. I didn't tell you about me getting cargos for work. I heard. I flirted my way into those. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> That's all right. My pockets so, are like Mary Poppins pockets. Every time I bend over, they just keep going. All right. <laughs> Jen likes uh, cargos. I love cargos for my work. What I do is a store standard. Jen definitely needs cargos. I just need clean pants in general at this point in time. Yeah. All right. 
Back to the light. All right. Mine is nice and crisp. Here's the thing I like about the CRV. The lights are right on top where everybody can see them. They're not down here. It's great. One of the reasons why I love CRV. Uh, Jen keeps saying the wall. That's why I hear that little bang. Um, there's about four and a half feet behind. Oh God, maybe two and a half. Three. <laughs> Three. So all of this, like I just did. Okay, you take your light, pull towards yourself. Then it comes off. That's what I mean, fill the screwdriver, do anything you need. That's it, Pat, take it off. I tell ya, whoa. You see all sorts of stuff. All right, so. Do you want to get the spider web out of there while you're hey, ready? Hey, there was a spider on there. Ew. <laughs> Probably a dead one. All right, Jen. See if I, so let's push this one, right, Jen? Yep. You did that direct here before I did. And obviously, I won't be able to do it right now. Oh, I did. Look at that. So, where's that little tab anyways? Right, right here. Bottom, yeah. Right there. So you push this tab. Which is actually on off. this side. So you push that little tab right here. You quit moving. And it like goes in underneath here and slides out. Yeah, so you push that and it goes. All right, so as you can see, this is really dirty. Really dirty. Should have brought the can of air. Blow it out. <laughs> Spit shine. Yep. Okay. Turn signal. Yep. Let's do that one first. Okay. Turn it around counterclockwise. Pull it right out. See, even their lens is clear. Mm hmm. I don't need it. Now, some people will recommend that you use the amber light for the amber casing, the red light for the red casing. It doesn't fully matter as long as the casing is colored. Okay. 7440 is the one we want. So. Uh, that looks like the 921 though. Uh, no, turn signal is 7440. That's, okay. Yep. That's what I got on my cell phone uh, from the picture you sent me, if uh, it's in there. I'll from go. the book? Yeah, the book you sent me. Where'd you throw the light bulb? I threw the light bulb into the back. It's lost forever. It sure is. In our little rockyard car. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone forever. Okay, so. You can find a picture for you guys, yeah. So, uh, directional rear 7440. All right. And that is for the 01 to 97 CRV. All right. So, there's all your lights. Parking 168, uh, front and rears, high mount, which is the very, very top. Okay. Side markers, tail stop, and back up. All right. So we're gonna need the 7440, which is this. And luckily, I have my knife on me. Good thinking this time. Watch me cut right into my hand. So instead no, we of don't. I'm, I'm first aid qualified, but still. <laughs> yes, Jennifer is first aid qualified. So if I ever get hurt doing any of this, I have my own- CPR. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yes. I have my own medical person yep. on board. I'm also baby qualified, so it's a double win for you. You're a baby qualified? Yeah. What does that mean? You do CPR on babies, too. Okay. Level C CPR. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so it goes in. Now, the issue with LEDs, as I mentioned in the last video, again, Sylvania's, can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. That's what we use on all our vehicles. The one issue that we might have is that it's not in the right way. So what I do is I'll put it in. Put it all the way in. You gotta find a little tab. These are always a pain in the butt. Gotta love these. There we go. All the way in. Trust me, there's worse things than tabs. Yeah, there is. There's always worse things than tabs. You know? Yeah, I like it. Okay, reconnect this. Somehow, come on. Yeah. Why won't you not connect? That's kind of frustrating and annoying mm -hmm. at the same time. I didn't break the tub. No. Did you get the right way? In. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the back of it. No 
all goes in one way. Must be because you have to hit this. Oh, okay. So when you go click it back in, you have to hit this. So it lifts up on the tab right there. Uh, so now we're just gonna test it like this. And that's the right side turn signal. Let's walk into a shovel. Well, we are finishing up winter right now. We also need to finish up the garage and put stuff up top there because that's a lot of empty space we could be using. Yep, I know. Nothing. All right. Got to flip it around. That's good. That's what I wanted. Um, I see a lot of people, they, like I said before, they buy LEDs and right off the bat they tell you it just doesn't work. That's the reason why, is why you do this. It's a bit longer, it's a bit more tedious, but in the long run, if I can do this properly in one shot, come on. In the long run, <clears throat> you save yourself way more hassle. Also, I knew from up front when I was doing it that uh, it wasn't working because my passenger side blinker was blinking extremely quick. Ooh. Yeah, anytime any of your blinkers blink like at hyperspeed, it usually means something's off. Yep. So you can touch the top here, it's just a piece of aluminum. Yep. So there's your LEDs. That's another thing with two of the regular bulbs, you can't touch them at all, otherwise you could just ruin them. Yeah, what happens is the oils of your fingers will leave a burn mark after use on the actual bulb, creates a, like a dead spot type thing. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. So this might be another long video, which I'm okay with that. Some videos are three minutes long. Don't tell you anything and information. Not me. I want to try to give you as much information so you can do it at home, no problem. Okay. Let's see what happens. It's blinking. It's blinking really brightly. Good, that's what I want. So, first one's done. Now we'll move on to the... Now we'll move on to the next one. All right. Which is this one here, which is your brake. So again, I'm gonna wear out this tab by the time I'm done all this. No, so well, goes up. Bro oh. you break it and not wear it out. <laughs> That's probably what's gonna happen. Actually, it's getting better to do. Okay, so again, we're just gonna take the bulb. We know it works. It looks like it's spot on it already. That was yeah. a little bit burnt. Just a little bit burnt. Could that is our stop, which, according to our thing, is seven four four three again, Sylvania. Mm -hmm. So we come up here, seven four four three. These ones are available in red as well. Yep. Get my knife out. Where'd that light bulb go? The Canada geese are coming back. So as Pat was talking about the burn spots, as you can see on the top of this bulb, <laughs> someone black. someone touched it. Yep. Isn't that great? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we get this first try. I'm gonna say no. Cause I always have bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> so we need a girl to do it. Ah, uh, when we get to your car, Will. Yeah. Like you did. So far we've done a, a bit of upgrade to your cars. Jen leases her car. Not leased. What is it? It's uh, I bought it. I'm just still paying it off. It's financed. Oh, right. Yeah. So her car will not have as many upgrades. Yes. Just because, yeah, just because it's not fully ours yet. Unless someone wants to give me $20,000. <laughs> yeah. Or at least TD Bank, $20,000 in my name. That's all right. All right, so that's gonna be the brake light. Oh, you got it. It works? It works. Beautiful, it's nice and bright. Yeah. Beautiful, I like it. So I'm one for one. The next one's gonna be an interesting one. Mm-hmm, the backup. Back up, wait. 
Sylvania LED number. These are the same ones I used on mine. And I can tell you, it's a lot nicer to see where you're going as opposed to where you are when we're going in reverse. Yep. Especially in a dark garage <laughs> at night. Um, just in the darkness. Like I said, we don't live in a major town. Mm -hmm. Our town is very, very small. So all the brightness, the better. Mm -hmm. Again, counterclockwise. See, there is a burn mark on it as well, right here. It's good that we're changing them out then. Yep. Hold on, let me focus on that one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can see that now. There it is. Good? Yep. So me, I'm just gonna, you know, play with it and throw it away forever. Alright. Alright. Lost in the abyss, that is your car. Well, if you look in there, we have... Oh, a, we did. Oh, we did? We oh, did. Right. I was gonna say, we have a lot of parts to do this summer. You love our backyard car. I'm looking forward to my spoiler. Yeah. Uh, spoiler, we drove to Gatineau. We drove to Gatineau for a lot of things. For a lot of cars, we've done a lot to get, no? All right, is this gonna be the first try, or am I gonna fail again? Have some faith. I always have faith. You have to have faith. <laughs> <laughs> so how's everybody today? Say in the comment how your day was. Mine was filled with sand. Yeah, it is windy as heck in the Ottawa Valley. Yep. At least it's warm and sunny. But uh, having small particles of road salt and sand mixture in your eyes kind of sucks crap. Yep. It's uh, not fun at all. Um, yeah. All right. So now it's reverse. So I'll have my foot on the brake and have the CRV in reverse. Yes. Always keep your foot on the brake when putting it in reverse, especially in a garage. <laughs> all right. Ready? Ready. Oh, you got it. Look at that. that one's way brighter. Way brighter than the other side? Way brighter. Comparison? Um, I don't know if I can really compare that, but there's a huge difference. The stoplight's kind of the same, but blinker-wise and reverse light-wise, definitely a huge difference. I like it. So now... Not going to crawl over the tire? Pardon? Not going to crawl over the tire? No, I'm not cool enough to do that. Yeah. I know, I know. So your three screws that are right here that you don't want to forget about. The socket that you use. The extension in your pocket. So we can do it the right way. Yeah, some people like to, you know, put everything in one spot. Pat keeps it everywhere. It's the fun of the job. Yeah. Alright, come back here. So we're going for our camera. Make sure everything's good and lined up. No cracks or visible marks, which is good. Uh, what's always good is that we live relatively close to a wreck yard. I say relatively as in we don't. Hour and a half, two yeah. hours, depending on which way we go yep. in traffic. Uh, we have one wreck yard we like to go to more than the other, mm -hmm. which is uh, Kenny Upal in Gatineau, about two hours away. It's our favorite. Yep. They know us by name. I uh, joke around that I'm putting their whole family through college because I've had numerous cars from, let me go in. From, I had a, a 90, no, 2001 Grand Am. Mm -hmm. I had a 99 BMW. Mm -hmm. I had a 2003, 2002, 2003. Ray from Mitsubi. The bug eye. Yeah. Oh, that thing was nice. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I really wish I still had that vehicle. Where I live, we had an issue with uh, getting it safety. Just nobody in this town. Understood. Subaru. Yeah, at all. Uh, I brought to many places. A couple places told me, okay, you need these parts. I went to Ken Upel, uh, Facebook groups. I went everywhere to get the parts and then got replaced and he told me, oh no, no, you have to replace with brand new parts, which is not true. As long as the part does what it's supposed to and is in decent shape, you should be able to use it. Yeah, but these places are also trying to sell you their vehicles. Yes, I uh, went to one shop and they tried to sell me a vehicle. They told me, no, your car will never see the light of day on the road and uh, we want you to buy this single car instead. Yep. I looked at him and told him, no thanks. And they didn't. 
Anyways. Funny thing is we sold that Subi and it passed safety in another town the same day. Yeah, I was upset. Yeah. The bug guy, such a great car. All right, I'm switching gears, so I jump. All right. All right. So now these are done. Back into the cargo. Again, it's just. Ooh, this one here is a bit more, uh, a bit more stubborn, which means something fell out of it. Oh, I saw that too. I think it was a bug. <laughs> Look at all that. <laughs> all yeah, that. we should brought the can of air. We should have. But what's the fun in that? Can you see It'd be clean after? Nah. Wow. This one is. Whoa. Just seen all that dust just came off of it. So this one here is really dirty. We're gonna put it there. So this time around, I'm gonna change all three bulbs. Are we still good? We're still good. You're just gonna hope for the best this time? Yeah, I'm gonna change all three bulbs mm -hmm. at once. All right. Let's see what happens. So again, top one is your turn signal. So if you never want to use these bulbs again, just gone forever. So turn signal was 7440 if I remember. I gotta look at your cheat sheet. Uh, yep, 7440. Give me a second. Put it back in my pocket. Okay. Again, we're using Sylvania Cool White Automotive LED lights. Not sponsored, it'd be nice. <laughs> Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at that. I just realized that. What? There's a bar there, and there's a bar there, which means there's a bar here, and there's a bar there. Well, it's still for quite a little bit longer. It takes oh. a while for my phone to focus. So there's a bar there. Ah, okay. That corresponds with a bar right there. Ah. Look at that. Let's see if it's the trip to the... I think I might be learning something. Again, this is stuff I've never done. I've done it in different vehicles, but like... Normally we use regular lights, not the LEDs. Yeah. LEDs are kind of new to us. Yep, they're very good. I like LED lights. They're so much brighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So many people in the comms would be like, hey, you could have done it this other way. And you're right. Now I should So be... I actually appreciate those comments because anytime we get a tip or a trick, it's fun to try it out and see how it works for us. This one here is not the same. There's only one, there's two bars. And just like that. Mm. So this one here will be... Let's see what happens. I'm confident I'll be three for three. Okay. That's just me though. I got faith in you. So this again is your driving slash brake light. And this one here is your reverse. Well, you know, you're going to notice a huge difference when you back up though. Good. That's what I want to see. Yeah. So then what I'm going to do is afterwards, I'm going to turn the light off in the garage. Like we did for Jen's car. And we're just gonna see how bright it is. So again, when you light this off, you wanna inspect it for cracks. So as you can see, there's blemishes here and there. There's like a little light scuffs. Uh, Turtle Wax makes a good kit for that, but there is no cracks in it at all, which is good, which means we don't have to reseal it or buy new ones. Yes, yeah, so always make sure there's no water in your lights. If there is, remember it's not blinker fluid. You need to fix your lights. Yep. Yeah. Exactly what it is, it's blinker fluid. I've actually had cars coming up. Spider? Spider web, yeah. Yeah, it's a little spider nest. Not just a web. Not anymore. It's coming up. So as you're saying, Jen, you've had a customer come in? Where half their light bulb the, the light casing was full of water in the front light. In the front light. We we're talking about drugma putting a little fish in there. <laughs> there was enough water, you could put a little bait in there, no problem. Oh, I believe it. Alright, that's clicked in. One light. Okay, so what happens is also you have a tab here. Mm -hmm. And you also have a tab right there. Gives into that hole. Okay. And into that hole. Alright. Let's just make it easier, you know. Learning stuff. Yep. So right now I don't have to worry about it being totally in because all I'm doing is just testing it. Mm -hmm. So three for three, let's see what happens. What's your prediction, Dad? I think two are gonna work. You think two? Two. I think my turn signal is gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about the red one. Brake light? Yeah, brake light, stop All right, light. Here we go. Turn signal first. It's going. Okay, brake. It's gone. Okay, brake on and. Oops. No, don't want to do that. Okay, and reverse. Oh, it's on. You're three for three. Look at that. 
I like it. <laughs> All right. Jen, we're going to turn off the lights. You ready? Go for it. Turn her off. Ow. That's a shovel. That's going to be changing soon. I don't know if I'm a fan of the blue light. I like it. I want to find purple. Yeah. Or magenta. Or fuchsia. One of those colors. That's nice. I can already tell it's so much brighter. I like it. Yeah, it looks good. So the reason why it's flashing fast, because it is, mm -hmm. is because the front ones, I'm pretty sure it's because they're not changed out to LEDs yet. Um, if it reads as the fact that like there's no light in there, you might need an equalizer as well. I like that. Look how bright that is. That's very bright. You can read to your uh, reverse lights. <laughs> That's good. All right, turn the light back on. Find that little handle here. There we go. LED shot light for the win. Yeah, so if, if once you do your front lights, if it doesn't slow down, you might have to buy the equalizer bar. That is true. That is very, very true. It's a good thing Jennifer said that. They do sell it over there as well at Walmart. Twenty five ninety nine, I believe it is. Okay, that's in there. Again, like I said, this is a eight millimeter socket we're using on an extension. Mm -hmm. You can use a Phillips screwdriver if you don't have an eight millimeter. The only thing I tell you is be careful that you don't strip it. Mm -hmm. If you do strip it, find somebody who has an eight millimeter socket and get them to give you a hand with it. So this whole job. You could have done it the second way, which is way faster than the first way, which I did testing. It's just, I want to show everybody a fast way and a short way. One way is a sure way of doing it. The other way is, hey, let's see what happens and just take it off in one piece. So it just goes to show there's no wrong way of doing it. There's no right way of doing it. Yeah. It's whichever way works for you. And again, don't ever be scared to work on your own vehicle. That's why YouTube's there. That's why people like me are here and people like Jennifer are here. If you guys haven't noticed, um, Jen works on her car. I work on my CRV. She helps me on my CRV and I help her on her SUV. Yep. We will be getting a better camera with a tripod so we can start making videos together. Yeah. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of work where we're going to need the two people to do it. And it's going to be fun. Like the roof rack. That was a two person job. Yes. That's gonna happen. Spoiler. What else we got in here? Uh, bug deflector, uh, armrests, uh, you name it. We have a lot of stuff to do. Oil change. I won't have to. Yeah. Clean this out. Someone else we're gonna have to. But that's it for now. CRV LED lights. We're gonna be doing changing these both over there. That's pretty hot. See, that's the reason why I like LEDs. LEDs are not hot. That is. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be changing out more of the lights. So don't burn it out. I'll be changing out more of the lights inside. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with white or if we're gonna stick with the blue. It depends on what color this is gonna be. Also, later video, we're gonna change out the license plate LEDs mm -hmm. from stock to LEDs. And we're also gonna do the high uh, stop. The high stop. So close it all the way. That's the end of the video. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, for sure, comment. Tell us what you want us to do. We have a bunch of stuff we can do to get to both cars. All right? Thanks. See you in the next video.